ask them, would that, if that benevolent dictator was Edwin Sifuna, right. would they survive in this country? All right, uh, Moshimo Amariro. Yeah, you, you know, uh, my, my learned friend here is very clear. And that is what we have always expected and anticipated from NASA. He is very clear today, and I'm very happy that he is that, to that extent clear, that even if the irreducible minimum were met today, they are not ready for elections. He did confess that today. Because, and that, that, that we have always known from the Jubilee side, that uh, the bottom line, uh, NASA don't have the maths. They don't have the numbers to win the elections. And so what they have done is to, to put roadblocks, one after the other. In fact, I will remind you, these 12 irreducible minimums were not there initially. They have kept increasing day by day. The other day, a new irreducible minimum of Safaricom was introduced. I can tell you, tomorrow, there will be another irreducible minimum because they know that, bottom line, what they don't want is elections. In fact, I had some members of parliament from NASA, I think yesterday, saying they are not going to even negotiate even a comma. And they know on 26th of October, there will be a vacancy in the office of presidency and deputy presidency. That is what is anticipated. And in fact, the head of NASA himself has, has talked at some point that there will be a vacancy. So the crisis that is being anticipated, the crisis that is being built up is that. All right. Ask yourself, let, let, me, let me ask yourself actually, how comes NASA went to spotlighted IEBC and actually pointed out at six or seven officials and said these are the officials that are responsible for the bargain election? What, what investigations did they do? <laughs> Why did they pick the seven? In fact, they had written to DPP and asked DPP to investigate certain people. Before that investigation were done, they quickly said, actually, don't do investigation. Send them home. Last time, I want, you to, I want us to, remind, to remember, last time, when we were sending Isaac Hassan home, we actually sent commissioners. This time, they have been wise enough. I don't know where they, how they have spotted it. They said, the commissioners may not have a problem. We have a problem with the secretariat. This sort of trying and establishing where culpability rests, okay. selectively. But, 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 and you know, and you but, know, but based on their argument, it's so that we have verifiable, credible elections. That's to the benefit of everybody. And honestly speaking, if we go by your argument, if Jubilee believe wholeheartedly that they have the numbers, why not just deal with these irreducible minimums and let's go to the polls? You know, some of the issues that have been um, empirically raised, if you look at the Supreme Court uh, ruling, and I've read it, both the majority and the minority, there are certain specific issues that were raised by the Supreme Court. And that is what did you believe sat in terms of offering leadership and said these gaps that have been established by the Supreme Court, we are going to bring amendments to Parliament so that those amendments, and by the way, if, if we had time and we explained those amendments, you wonder actually why NASA opposed those amendments. Well, they have raised <coughs> and said that these amendments are coming too late. Let me remind you, because it's always good to remember, before elections, the 8th of August. Do you know NASA brought more than 20 court cases up to very close to the elections. One court after another, one 